Okay, time to take on Bandit level 30 to level 31. We have a level goal. that There is a git repository at this SSH URL. Um, the password for the user bandit30 git is the same as for the user bandit30. Clone the repository and find the password for the next level. Uh, rinse and repeat, exactly the same as what we've been doing the last few goes, right? Just all about navigating git repositories and the the places where we can store information and all that goodness, right? Um, so I'm already logged in, Bandit30, and I've got the password on my clipboard, so I'm just going to keep that handy. Now, let's just do exactly what we've been doing already. I'm going to make a temp directory called Dean CD into it. And from here, we're just going to git clone this repository into this directory of ours. Let's copy that. Looks like I've got a full stop at the end I don't want. Yep. Clone that. Hit yes to continue. We want the bandit30 hyphen git password, which we know is the same as bandit30s. So we'll just plug that in. And we're there we've got this git repository called repo again. Let's just control and L to clear this up. Um, ls and then cd into this repo. Okie dokie, what have we got? Well, look at that, we've got readme.md again. Oh, but this time it says something different. Just an empty, spelt wrong, empty file. -ha -ha -ha. Um, okay, so yeah, last time it sort of had like it indicated a password that had been like moved or changed or something. And this time it's like got nothing. Uh, but we can see what's going on. Let's look at git log. Okay, um, nothing on this commit. This is the only commit even. That's okay. We we can we can see if there's other branches. Uh, git branch. Okay, we're hit again. There's no. Um, we've just got the one master branch, um, but that's okay. We know that we can do the branch with the A flag to see if there's any remote branches that aren't being tracked locally. And no, there isn't. We've just got this master one, and it's being tracked. It's the only, it's the only branch on the um, the remote repository as well. Okay, so we're this is um, this is a, a new sort of scenario, like we'd expect with a different level, right? Um, so the only other place where we could, well, the only place that I know um, that we can store information is in a tag. Um, now, what a tag is in Git is it's sort of like a static. Um, a static sort of piece of data that points to a particular commit. What I mean by that is imagine you've got this big long list of commits that you've been doing and they're like they correspond to sort of different versions and the the master sort of branch points to the the, the, the furthest on the the like the most recent commit on the master branch and the other branches point to their most recent commit of their branches. Well what happens if you want to sort of label a previous commit version 1.1 or something and and then label like a commit further down version 2 and be able to just use them to identify what commits sort of as a way to sort of point to different commits um, so that you could like check out version 1.1 or something like this and that's with tags um, these are static they don't move like um, like the the sort of pointers for the for the other branches and so forth. I hope that makes sense. Um, like I say, with with Git, you really need to um, like watch some more YouTube videos or get a Udemy course. Like I had one um, on Udemy. It's the it's like the highest rated one, and it's really really good. And you can you know on sale it costs like a tenner. Um, and you know I just I just go back to it whenever I need to reference things, and it's it's just pretty. Anyway, enough of that. So how do we look at these tags? 
well we just go to the commit we're on and I think it's yeah git tag so there's this tag um, with the name of secret uh, attached to our commit that we're currently working on so we just use git show so these are two new commands um, and then secret to show any information sort of a description of that um, tag and there we go there's the next password um, so yeah it's just a bit more information about git and navigating git and I hope that made sense if not please let me know and uh, I'll do it again <laughs> um, okay see you in the next one